Hi, this is Kennedy from Stats in 5. In this video, we are going to look at the differences between interval and ratio scale. Alright, so let's get right into it. On an interval scale of measurement, variables are grouped into categories with numeric values, which are ranked and have equal distances from one point to the next. Here is the catch on an interval scale. Zero on an interval scale is arbitrary and does not mean a complete absence of the variable. Simply put, Zero is part of the values in a variable on an interval scale. Therefore, interval scales can have negative numbers. However, because of this ability for an interval scale to dip below zero, you can only find differences or sum the values on an interval scale. You cannot find ratios between two values. That is, you cannot multiply or divide values on an interval scale. This is because there isn't a common reference or starting point. Let's look at the example of temperature measured in degrees Celsius. Let's say the temperature in Ghana today is 30 degrees Celsius and that of Germany is 15 degrees Celsius. We can only find the difference and say that Ghana is 15 degrees Celsius hotter than Germany today. However, we cannot conclude that Ghana is twice as hot as Germany today. The reason being that temperatures in Germany can fall below zero. Meanwhile, in Ghana, the lowest temperature ever recorded is about 10 degrees Celsius. So we can see that the starting points of temperature in each country differs. Therefore, it would be unfair to compare or compute ratios for the two countries in that sense. Now, let's look at exam score. Scoring 0% on a test doesn't mean you did not take the test. That's just the score you had. There are even tests where you could score negatives. These are some analytical tools that can be used on an interval scale. Descriptive stats including frequencies, central tendency measures including the mode, median and mean, then measures of variability including range, standard deviation and variance. We can also conduct several parametric tests such as t-test and ANOVA and others. In situations where data collected is not normally distributed or abuses several assumptions, we can use non-parametric tests to analyze interval scale variables. The highest level of measurement is the ratio scale, which measures variables or data along a numeric scale with equal distances between adjacent values and also has a true zero starting point. Every characteristic of an interval scale applies to a ratio scale, except that on a ratio scale, zero is an absolute number. This implies that on a ratio scale, zero means that the variable under study is absent or does not exist. Because of this, ratio scale variables cannot have negative numbers. Also note that we can actually compare values of variables on a ratio scale in that they can be multiplied or divided. Since there is a common reference point, which is zero, Let's consider the weight of two people. Mary is 80 kg and John weighs 40 kg. Now, because there is a common starting point for weight in both cases, which is zero, we can compare the two weights by division. And with this, we can conclude that Mary weighs twice as much as John. Let's look at other examples. When you are asked how many kids do you have, a person who responds with zero would mean that the person has no kids at all. The variable which is being measured, which is the number of kids, is absent. Also, let's look at height. No matter how short a person is, he or she can never have a negative height. I mean, what would that even imply? Okay, so let's look at the following statistical analysis that can be conducted on variables measured on a ratio scale. We have descriptive statistics including frequency distribution. We have measures of central tendency, mode, median, and mean. Also, on the ratio scale, we can measure the range, standard deviation, variance, as well as the coefficient of variation. On a ratio scale, we can also perform inferential statistics including parametric tests like t-test, ANOVA, Pearson correlation. Also, in cases where the data is not normally distributed or does not meet certain assumptions, we can perform non-parametric tests for ratio scale variables. Alright, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe and hit the notification button.